How's it going? My name is Diane. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do another luggage review video. I got the Monos Carry On Pro Plus right here. And so we will be doing an in-depth review on this luggage if you're interested. And my current favorite carry-on luggage is the base roller carry-on luggage. So I will be doing a comparison between my base carry-on and this Monos Carry-On Pro Plus luggage. If you're interested and you wanna know everything about this Monos Carry-On luggage, keep on watching. Um, so just a couple of things before we get started. So I ordered this Monos Carry-On Pro Plus luggage a couple of days before Black Friday. They they were having a Black Friday sale and this was actually 40% off. I looked on their website this morning and they still have several luggages that are still on sale if you are interested in the Monos brand or in this luggage or any other luggage on their website. That sale is still going on. I have no idea when it's going to end because this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to let you know if you're interested. So just a little bit about the Monos brand. The company values simplicity and their design aesthetics are timeless classics. On their website, there is this huge section on how they rigorously test their products through 40 different tests in terms of testing for the quality and sustainability of their products. Right, so let's start with the exterior. I think that the Monos luggage is so aesthetically pleasing. It is very pretty and it has a very sleek appearance. It's definitely prettier in my opinion compared to the base and to the away carry-on. So as you can see here up in the corner, there is the Monos logo right there and it's in this black color and the shell, this is a hard sided luggage and it is in this really pretty, this one is in the midnight black, which is a matte black. And the shell itself is made out of a polycarbonate hard shell that is aerospace grade. It's recyclable, it is unbreakable and it is impact and shock resistant. So let's do the test because a lot of times when I find hard luggages, one of the first things that I do is I do the little test where I press on the, the hard shell and I see if it is still pliable and bendable. Especially the ones at like Marshalls and Home Goods, those are like very thin and I just feel like it just wouldn't protect my stuff as well. So let's test this polycarbonate hard shell. So here we go. So I'm gonna, let's start with the side. So you can see there's a little bit of give, but overall it's still really stiff. And then here in the front, it's definitely thicker than the typical ones that you uh, see at the department stores. Just speaking of the exterior, the one of the first things that I noticed was that this luggage is not expandable. For me personally, one of my like requirements for a, a luggage. So if you can see here, there's just the zipper closure, but there's not a second option for the expandable closure. And what's different about this one is that it has this front pocket to put, put a laptop or put any other stuff that you want in there. Along with the matte exterior, there are these matte zippers and the zippers itself are just plain zippers. So when you open up the, the front pocket, it is gusseted all the way down to the bottom so your stuff will not fall out from the bottom. Here's what the front pocket looks like when you open it up. It's like a thin foam material there. There's a pocket here, and then there is another pocket that it expands a little bit wider right here. And this top pocket has a little bit of a foam material protective layer. And then this second front pocket is like a regular luggage material. There's no padding at all in that one. This is what the front flap looks like. You have a pocket that goes probably eight inches or so down, and then you have three zippered pockets here on the front. And what's interesting is that these zippers are very smartly designed, where the zippers go across the top and it goes around the edge, so you can open up the little compartment or put things in there a lot easier than if the zipper was just across the top. So I really actually like that. And these zipper pockets are actually made out of that, like a foam mesh material that is kind of a little bit padded. So you have three zippers and all three zippers are the same design where the zipper goes down around the sides. It's supposed to hold up to a 15 inch laptop. I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro laptop here. If I put it in this top main one, that's what it looks like in there. There's plenty of space and it still closes up very easily. There's also this other front pocket in here 
And you could also put the laptop in this front pocket and they're just like that. It's supposed to hold a 15 inch laptop in a laptop case. So I grabbed my laptop case. This is a little bit bigger than my laptop, but I wanted to see if it fits in there. With the laptop case, it doesn't really, it's like too big. So now it fits in this front, this, this more front pocket with the laptop case. That's what it looks like with a laptop in the laptop case zipped up. I have my MacBook charger, it's charging cord. So I'm going to put it in these front pockets down here. And then the other thing that I usually carry with my laptop is I have a wireless mouse. So I'll put that in the top pocket. It's a little bit too big where it doesn't really zip up. Usually I also have a an adapter piece because my version of the MacBook Pro does not have USB ports on the side, which I'll just throw that in there like that. With the chargers and with the mouse and accessories in the front, it will not close. It's just like way too wide. This is the problem that I also found with the Away carry-on luggage that had the front laptop compartment. It's nice to have a compartment to hold the laptop, but you're very limited in terms of other things that you can put in this front pocket, unless it was something very slim, like your passport or your boarding pass, or maybe a few sheets of paper or a very thin book. The other thing is the front pocket has the dual zippers, which is really nice. But what is also important to note is that the zippers itself, it does not attach to the TSA combination lock. The TSA lock locks the zipper to the main compartment, but your laptop would not be secured in the front pocket. For the main zippers, these are actually a lot larger than the front. And there is not the Monos logo except for the three dots. And it's also a matte black that is also very, very sleek looking. They can just turn and twist to lock into the TSA approved combination lock that's here on the side. There is this handle right here on the side of the luggage. It says Monos right there and it kind of just pulls up. Um, when it's in use and it kind of goes flat when it's not in use. There is no weight indicator or anything like that. It's like a regular handle. On the top of the luggage, there is a top handle that has monos there. And then there is just the telescoping handle that comes out like that. There is not an option or an area for a like battery pack. The other side is just plain. For the bottom of the luggage, it is just the four wheels. There's nothing special. There aren't any extra handles or anything else like that. Away is the only brand I think so far that I've discovered that has a little pocket here on the bottom. The wheels are, I think it's pronounced Himimoto wheels and they are supposed to be super, super silent and super smooth. So let's just, I won't talk and we'll see how silent I'll roll it back and forth. All right, now let's do the tester with my base. They both feel the same to me. They sound the same in terms of silentness and in terms of like smoothness and rolling. They both seem as gliding with just as much effort. Now let's talk about the telescoping handle. So this telescoping handle has four different height adjustments. It has the button on the underside of the luggage to press it up and down. There is not any like special cushion or anything else like that, like how the base has it. Um, but what is also very unique is that the handles are kind of angled. And I think that's to provide stability for the handle. So they're kind of like a triangular shape. And like this side is going in like this. And this side is going like this. Let's do the tester and to see how stable the handles are. So let's see. There's still quite a lot of like give and wiggle. And let's compare it to my base. So my base one is also has a, it's more substantial. And this barely has any wiggle. Like the wiggle that is occurring is kind of, but it's not actually like, or wiggling inside of this part down here. Whereas this one, let's do the wiggle test. 
So this one has more of a wiggle. I'm going to do a side by side comparison at the end of the video if you really want to see the height comparison of everything and the size comparison between the base and the mono. All right, so now let's go to the interior of the Monos carry on. Here is what the interior of the Monos carry on looks like. This is the front side with the laptop pocket, and then this side is the side that has the telescoping handle. Starting with the side with the front laptop pocket, as you can see here, there is a compartment pocket, and it is made of a mesh material that is actually, it feels very, very high quality. It feels a lot better than the base. And they also say that it's an antimicrobial fabric. Side here, the Monos Carry On includes three different pouches. This is the first pouch. You can put dirty laundry or stuff, anything that you want in there. It's also a good material that's supposed to be antimicrobial. And then it's just a drawstring closure. And then in addition to this bag, you get two other small, they look like shoe bags. Um, and it's about, it's less, it's more narrow, but it's about a little bit, well actually it's a little bit smaller in length as well. And this bag, it looks like it's probably the size where it could fit like one men's shoe, or it could probably definitely fit like a pair of flip flops and stuff like that. You get two of them. So you get three bags in total. They're all just drawstring closure. So that's always nice. I feel like it's a thing these days where all luggages come with a little bag. Also in this compartment, you get like a little info packet. And even the quality of this bag is like very high quality. It's like a frosted bag. It says mono. There's like an information sheet in here. Um, there's information about the TSA lock. It comes with a vegan leather luggage tag that says Monos on there. Well, it's the Monos logo. And then it also includes a little magic eraser to clean the luggage, which is nice. Not that it's needed, but it's a nice touch that the company includes that as well. Everything in this front side is fully enclosed inside this compartment. So there's a zipper here, but when you open it up, it's just like a regular interior pocket. Just in case you're wondering, I'd say it's about three inches in depth for this front part. In terms of width, it's about 14 and a half inches in width. And then in height, it is about 21 inches in height, excluding the wheels. If you wanna add in the wheels, it brings it to about 22 and a half inches tall. So that is the front pocket. There is a really pretty, just a black leather Monos logo tag right there. And then let's talk about the backs. As you can see, this has the compression system, which I actually really like because I think it's safe space. So it has these vertical straps. It's a high quality seatbelt material. The clasp is, I think it's plastic. And then at the end of the straps, there's actually detail where there is a leather little strap part of it. To open up these clasps, it's actually, it took me a second to figure out. It's easier than the base. So it closes here, you just press here on the top, and then it comes out. So that's pretty much it. And the compression pad also has a compartment on the front. And what is actually a little bit different about it is there are zippers on both sides where you could put things in there, but also, I guess, you could dump it out on the other side. So you could access it from either side. It's just one compartment that's shared all the way through. And it's, again, that mesh material that's really high quality and thick and on the back of the compression mat it's just plain and then here on the inside this is just the regular inside you can see there is a pocket here on the side kind of like the base and it's a pretty sizable pocket in there so there are three compart interior compartments with the monos carry-on so the compression system this monos is actually very well designed if you can see in here it's actually screwed with a metal part onto the out the hard part the polycarbonate of part of the luggage i'm pulling very hard and i don't think this is going to break it so the compression system is very secure and so if you wanted to like stuff your luggage, you can definitely like pull it and tug it and really like compress it down and not have to worry about these breaking. Let's do the size measurements. 
on this side. So this is again the telescoping side. So I'm just going to measure it to the back. Remember that there is the these bars for the telescoping handle. This one, it's probably four and three quarters inch deep. The width and the height should be the same. All right, so now let's talk about the numbers for the Monos Carry On Pro Plus. The price of this luggage is quite steep, I feel. So it is around $300. It depends on which color you get and also depends on which size you get. So this is the Carry On Pro Plus. It's the one that's a little bit larger carry on size. This is supposed to hold three to seven days worth of travel. And the weight of this luggage is 8.38 pounds. So the size of this is the Carry On Pro Plus, and it was a little bit confusing. Um, so let me go through the sizes for you because there are several different options with the Monos brand. There is the regular Carry On size, and then there is the Carry On Plus size, which is the size that is a little bit bigger and it's supposed to give you three to seven days worth of travel as opposed to two to five days worth of travel with a standard carry on size. And then when you're looking through, if you see pro in the name, that means that it has this front laptop pocket for you to put your laptop in. And then in terms of the pro versions, there is a regular carry on pro and then there's a Carry On Pro Plus, which is the one that's a little bit larger in size. The, the website says that the plus size, the one that's a little bit larger, should fit in the overhead compartments of most airline companies, but they do caution that some budget airlines and some international airlines may have more strict size requirements for the carry-ons. And then so if you were to take this plus size, you may be potentially charged with a fee. So that's something to take into account. And then like I said, today we're just talking about the carry-on size, but this brand also has a medium size that you would have to check as well as a large size luggage that is available for you if you are wanting the whole set. In terms of the warranty for this luggage, Monos offers a lifetime warranty. It covers cracks or brace in the shell, the wheels, the handles, or and as well as the zippers. They don't cover for any cosmetic damage or any damage determined by Monos to be due to like abuse or modification or tampering, alterations, etc. And then the other thing that they offer, which I thought was really kind of interesting and it's in my mind trying to compete with the Away brand. So Monos offers a 100 day trial period to try out the luggages. Caution though. Their 100 day policy is you could try it out, you can put your stuff in it, you can roll it around your house, but that's it. You cannot take it on any trips because if it does not remain in sellable condition for the return, then they will not honor their 100 day trial period. So to me, i.e. that's just a like refund policy. It's not a true trial period, like how Away has their 100 day trial period where you can take it on trips, you can try it out. If you don't like it, you could return it. And also the cost of shipping to return the luggage will be deducted from your total. So not only do you have to keep it in brand new condition, but you will also have to be paying for the return shipping as well. Something to note about the company that I thought was really cool is the company is also trying to be environmentally friendly. Not only do they try to use very high quality materials, but they are actually a company that is climate neutral certified. So they are working and they have zero carbon emissions in their products, which I thought was really cool. All right, so I just wanted to uncover some high points and some differences between the base roller carry-on and the Monos Carry-On Pro Plus luggage for you. So in terms of price difference, the base retails for 198 US dollars whereas the Monos retails for around $300. So there is about a $100 price difference between the two brands. The base size is actually very, very spacious inside. I have brought this multiple times on trips. And even though this is an expandable luggage, I have only had to expand it one time. And that was because I had gone on a bachelorette party and I bought too much stuff on shopping. But anyways, a couple of differences between the features between the base and the monos. The base has this front bag holder device and it has this cushion handle. And then on the side, it also has 
this handle right here is a weight indicator and also it is expandable. Both of them have the compression system to hold more stuff inside. The base has more compartments on the inside. There are five interior compartments and one of the compartments is actually a waterproof interior whereas the Monos carry-on has three interior compartments. Both of them have a AKA return policy, but the base one just has a trial period of 45 days and there's a $10 handling fee when you return it. Whereas the Monos has a quote unquote 100 day trial period and you would also have to pay for the shipping back to the company. Both companies offer a limited lifetime warranty. Something to know about the base luggage, I've had many viewers comment that the base customer service can be a little bit difficult to deal with. Um, whereas I don't know too much about the Monos brand, but that is something to know about the base. I do love it. I haven't personally had too much of like re experience returning products or having defective products, but that is something that many have commented about this. All right, so we're gonna do the side-by-side -side comparison. So the left, that is the base roller carry-on, and the right is the Monos Carry-On Pro Plus. Remember, the Monos Carry-On Pro Plus, this is the larger carry-on size, and it seems like it's about the same height as the base general. Remember, the base only comes in one size only, but they seem to be about the same height. Um, and then if you look through, let me zoom out and show you. So the base has the ridges and the lines that go across. And then the Monos has lines on the bottom. And then you can see the Monos has that front pocket. And then the Monos logo is there on the front there as opposed to the base one, which has that little strap handle there. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the base and the Monos. They both have a handle and they both have the TSA approved lock on the same side. Those are the wheels comparison. As you can see, the base has the expandable part, whereas the Monos is not expandable. Neither of them have corner reinforcements. And one of the things that I noticed right away is, so the base has these ridges that go out of the luggage. And when I'm traveling, it's usually these ridges that are scuffed up and get dirty. As you can see there, it's all scuffed. Whereas the Monos is actually very smooth. It looks very sleek. Um, and then the ridges on the Monos goes into the luggage. So just based on my travel experience, I feel if there were to be scratches and scuffs, it would scuff like anywhere on the luggage for the Monos. And then the side handle for the base, this is the weight indicator. And then this one for the Monos is just a regular handle. Here is the side um, by side comparison. Here's the back. They look identical. All right, now I'm gonna show you the side by side comparing the telescoping handle. The base one is very, very thick and substantial. And then you can see there is that really nice cushion handle. And then the button to release it and open it is here on the top. And then on the Monos, it's also a thicker handle and you can see it's kind of um, angled as I was talking about in the video. And then there's the top and the button is actually on the bottom of the handle to bring it up and down. The base has three height options and the Monos has four height comparison options. So here is on the lowest setting. Here's a difference between the monos and the base on the second handle. When you bring it to the third, that's the third height difference between the monos and the base. This is on the highest length option. They are pretty similar in height overall, but you can see now, can you see how substantially, how much wider the base handle is compared to the Monos handle? This is why I like the base one, just because it feels so sturdy and there's that cushion handle. And then this is just the back view of the two comparisons. They both look really sleek. And then in terms of the wheels, they both look very similar. And then this is the last side of the luggage comparisons. You can see the base has the expandable option and so that's why there's that extra zipper on the base and both luggage brands um the zippers close up very very close along the zipper teeth and same 
with the base luggage. All right, so my overall impressions with the Monos luggage and take it into account that I have not taken the luggage on any trips yet, um, but just from opening it up and just reviewing a lot of different luggage brands. My thoughts with the luggage, I really enjoy the Monos company in terms of limiting their carbon footprint. I really enjoy as a customer how rigorously they test their products for quality. I enjoy the timeless, classic aesthetic appearance. And overall, I do feel that the quality of their products inside this carry-on is very high quality in terms of when you feel the compression system, when you feel the interior, the mesh um, materials, everything is very high quality and feels very nice. It's also really nice that the Monos includes several little freebies, such as the three interior bags that you can use for laundry or for shoes. Um, they include the vegan leather luggage tag as well as the little magic eraser to clean the luggage. Some of the things that are kind of downsides for me about the Monos luggage, one, there's not the expandable option. That's huge for me because I tend to overpack and bring a lot of stuff. I also like having the waterproof PVC pocket that the base carry-on luggage offers that the Monos does not offer. And then in terms of the number of interior pockets, um, the base has five while the Monos only has three pockets. The other big thing for me about the Monos brand is their 100 day trial period misnomer. I feel that it's kind of a little bit of a false advertisement in terms of they advertise a trial period. However, you have to keep their luggages and their products in sellable brand new condition for them to accept the return. And to me, that's not a true trial period. And then lastly, the price tag for the Monos luggage is quite steep. So it's $300, whereas the base luggage is $100 cheaper around the $200 price mark. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it was really informative and helpful for you. If you enjoy this type of content, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Um, if you just hit the subscribe button below, be sure to turn on the notifications. Here I like to do reviews on various bags ranging from luxury designers and Louis Vuitton bags to practical, very high quality, well-made handbags and luggages and travel related items. So I'll see you next time. Bye.